And so I want to share something with you all because I want to give you all a glimpse of how the business of boxing is so that when you see fights materialize, you'll think about what I'm about to tell you so that you can basically paint a picture and understand when fights are on certain cards, right? It's a skill. It's an art to matchmaking and promoting fights in boxing. There's a, it's an art to it. It's not just, see, people always say, we want the best to fight the best. And I have to agree with you. Yes, the best should fight the best. But a lot of things have to occur as a prerequisite for the, for the best to fight the best. So let me paint this picture for you so that when you see cards being announced, and I'm talking about boxing cards, not playing cards, boxing cards. When you see these boxing cards being announced, you'll understand the story behind the promotion. Okay? Now, think of boxing cards that are put together by our promoters and matchmakers. Think of it like dinner in a movie. Remember I told y'all before that when you're watching boxing, right? Let's just use a, 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 a boxing card that's televised on television or streaming platform at this point, whether you use your phone, iPad, whatever electronic device you use to watch fights, right? That's the dinner. I'm talking about dinner and a movie. Hear me out. Outside the ring is the dinner, and inside the ring is the movie. You ain't going to find this analogy nowhere else. I'm trying to teach you something now. Stay with me. So when cards are happening in boxing, at least this is how I perceive it. When cards are happening in boxing, and when I say cards, I mean uh, boxing events, boxing shows that have the fighters in certain order, okay, on the actual card. Let's use a televised boxing event. Let's say this event right here. Let's say Keyshawn Davis versus Jose Pedraza and the main Teofimo Lopez versus Jermaine Ortiz, right? Now, outside the ring, when the promoter and matchmakers are building the card that's the dinner what i mean by that is when you look on your electronic device and you're watching fights think of going to dinner when they announce all of the fights that's going to be presented on this card and televised or whether it's televised or not i'm just using televised as an example right think about dinner just think about dinner. And what I mean by dinner is if you go to a restaurant, right? You'll have your bread and water. You have your appetizer. Then you have the main course, the, the full entree, right? Some of you who are my day one supporters, y'all recall me repeating this over and over and over again since I've been on YouTube to teach you how to look at boxing cards. Yes, as a fan, but also as a spectator who understand what you're looking at, okay? So let's say four round fights, six round fights. That's the bread and water. Or if you're not watching it on your electronic device and you're actually there at the boxing event, you know what you're looking at, okay? So you got your bread and water, got your four round and your six round fights. That's the bread and water. Then you got the mid card. You got your, your your eight round, your 10 round fights. And I'm talking about in the 12 round main event on the card. All right. Just using this as a reference. It applies to 10 round main event fights as well. But I'm just using this as a reference because most casual boxing fans are accustomed to only hearing and seeing 12 round fights. Okay. And then you, after you have your appetizer, your 
which is your eight and ten round fights. Then you got your main course. You got your entree. That's the 12 round fight, particularly the main event. Okay. So that's the, the dinner. That's what was being organized outside of the ring by the promoter and mainly the matchmaker. That's the dinner. Now the movie is the actual fights on the car being performed inside of the ring. Okay. Every fight, hear me, hear me good. You ain't going to hear this nowhere else. I'm glad y'all here tonight. You ain't going to hear this nowhere else because they don't know. So I'm glad y'all going to learn something today. So we got the dinner part. Now we got to attach the dinner to the movie. Once again, the dinner is the organization of the card outside the ring before the fight even happened, before the event even uh, officially happened. That's your dinner. Then you got the movie. What's the movie? That's where the fights are being performed inside of the ring. Okay? Every fight tells a story. And every fight has an ending to the story. Every fight have a beginning, every fight have a middle, and every fight has an ending, just like a movie. You just got to know what you're looking at when you're looking at the movie. When the fighters are performing inside of the ring, a movie's happening. Things are unfolding scene by scene by scene okay and we use the clock to manage when the scene begins and when the scene ends all right so think of all boxing cards whether you're there live or whether you're watching it on uh your electronic device dinner and a movie okay the movie is the promoter telling a message. The promoter has to tell a send a message and tell a story because we want you as the fans to buy into the promotion. Not to just come to one fight by a promoter or watch one fight on a streaming platform by a promoter. No, to keep coming back over and over and over again. We just have different characters in this movie, okay? So that's how I want you all to view boxing cards and boxing events. Why do I want you to do that? So that when you look at boxing, you know exactly what you're looking at, a dinner and a movie. Once again, if you're just joining us, stay with me. The dinner is the promoter and matchmaker organizing the card. All the fights that are going to be performed outside the ring before the event even occurs. Why do I call it a dinner? Because the card is going to be filled with the same procedures as you going, you going to a restaurant to eat. You're going to have your bread and water brought to you first. Then you're going to have your appetizer brought to you second. And then you're going to have the main course brought to you third. Okay? That's the dinner. Four to six round fights are your bread and water. The appetizer are your eight to ten round fights. And then the main course is your 12 round fight, which is the main event. And sometimes you can have a co-main, two 12 rounders. Okay? That's the dinner. Now, the movie is that that card that was organized outside the ring will be performed inside the ring by the characters, the product, the professional boxers. And each round will always have a beginning, a middle, and an ending. Each round, look at each round as a scene of a movie. 
and something is unfolding in each fight. Now, some movies end quick now. You got a star of a movie like Deontay Wilder. You better make sure you have your popcorn already in your hand uh, before that movie starts. Because it's likely for that movie to end early. <laughs> you know what I mean? Then you got uh, movies that, that go the whole entire length, like a Floyd Mayweather fight. He's still a star of the movie. And you're still being entertained as he's performing. But he going to be in there for round one and round 12. You see what I'm saying? Mike Tyson, too. Thank you, whoever that was in the chat. And speaking of the chat, double salute to all of the members of this channel, the supervisors of the Roll the Tape film crew who's here, Matthew Thomas, Two Cents Boxing, Andre Noble, I see you. And so that's the movie. Mike Tyson, you better make sure your popcorn ready, too. I'm talking about the old Mike. Yeah, that time I talking about the Mike before. The, 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 the Mike before he went in. Even before he went to jail. I'm talking about the, 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 the old Mike. Double salute. Biz on the beat just pulled up to the building. I, I see him. He walking in from the parking lot. Another member of the channel, supervisor of the Rose Tape film crew. Yeah, Mike Tyson, man. He and his movies quick. It be like that sometimes. And so, so that's what I want you all to get out of these boxing matches that you see from now on. Dinner and a movie. And there's an art to putting all of this together. There's an art to this. Those promoters uh, that's out there, those matchmakers that are out there, they are meticulous about what they're doing. There's a message that the promoter is trying to send. So it's not just a promoter just putting fights together to make money all over the place. No, there's a protocol. The fights have to be approved by the commission that the event is going to be hosted in by that state. So, so if there's a show that's going to be in the state of Nevada, that commission have to approve the bouts that's going to be uh, performed in that ring. That's why promoters who have great matchmakers are very successful in this business. That's why boxers who have good managers are very successful in this business. That's why boxers fighters that have very good promoters are very successful in this business. You have to have the right team around you, but it's always a method to the madness of the promoter putting on a good show. It's not to entertain you just for that show and, and that's it. It's for them to entertain you for that show and you come right back to the next show. 